this is stuff you see like in movies or TV, but no, this is real life. Like, just to see that vehicle go up as fast as it did. For whatever reason, that driver decided they wanted to get off on that ramp and they cut across some travel lanes on the 15. Uh, when they did that, they hit the impact attenuator, which is those little metal accordion looking things that are on the ends of, all, of uh, the ramps. Uh, the Volvo hit that and then hit the uh, Ford truck. Both vehicles ended up going over the retaining wall, separating the I-15 from the World Market Center behind me. And all of a sudden I heard one, two, three or four it sound like crashes, like sound like a big garbage dumpster being dropped from the sky. I'm like, what the heck is that? Todd French was in the World Market parking garage. I got a video camera and started filming. Take a look at this video. You see the white truck. It was towing that orange truck still on the road. The Volvo is underneath it. They're both on top of a light pole with live electrical wires. Watch the driver of the truck and a woman frantically trying to help. The man tried to get in the back of the truck. I didn't realize there was a child back there until he pulled her out. And I was like, oh, my goodness. The gentleman was able to get out. A good uh, good Samaritan was able to get the, the four-year-old daughter out of the car. The woman took her and slid down the rocks. You can see smoke and flames. The Volvo underneath the truck caught fire first and spread. Then it got so hot, the tires were exploding. Look at the right side of the screen. Someone ran over with a fire extinguisher. Couldn't get the fire out. So it continued to blaze until it was left to nothing. There were three people and a pet inside that Volvo. So we have uh, two adults, one child, and, and a deceased dog in that vehicle right now. We still don't know who died in the crash. Troopers told us one third of all fatal crashes in the valley are speed related. They say speed and reckless driving is what caused today's crash and it could have been prevented. In the same exact spot where this fatal was, we pulled over a driver going 127 miles an hour on Sunday. Uh, this morning on the I-15, uh, we tweeted it out, uh, 114 miles an hour on the I-15. And then an hour later, we're responding to a, to a three times fatal crash. Uh, people need to uh, slow down and realize, you know, speed, speed does kill.